just gets so old. Well, I think the reason the audience is reacting like this is you got so fat, you look terrible. No, apparently so. Apparently Retirement so. Retirement <laughs> has ruined you. Actually, funny you say that. My little girl turned around to me the other day and I'd just bathed her and I was in the bath as well, so I got her out and, you know, I was toweling her down and she said, Daddy, I love you so much, but I don't like you, you're so chubby. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think I was, but... <laughs> Yeah. As long as she loves you, yeah. it doesn't matter if she, she doesn't like you. She, <laughs> she said me. you were chubby. She well, that's me. a weird... Maybe she doesn't know what the word chubby means. Well, maybe tell her, maybe well, not. does chubby mean not. perfect over <laughs> yeah. in England? Is well, that... I would, I would think so. I would think so. How have you been keeping busy after playing soccer your, your whole life? I mean, what do you, what do you, what's um, your day like? I mean, to be honest, I've become a taxi driver overnight with the kids. Uh, I'm, I'm literally an Uber driver now. You take them? I literally, I take them from seven in the morning to the schools. Uh, I have four drop-offs at four different schools. No! Um, so I get that done in an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, my um, God. And then I pick my little girl up at 12, uh, and then the boys at four, and then the boys train in a soccer academy every single night of the week, so I'm busy every night until 9.30, and then, um, and then I'm at home. Oh, my God. Well, it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's great. I, you you like know, it's, it's, I've been playing football for the last 22 years. Uh, not always with the family, of course. So right. I travel a lot, and it's nice to actually be at home, spend some time with them, and be a taxi driver. Yeah, I see you deciding to coach in like eight months. You're like, you yeah. know what? Yeah. Time for me to get out of the house. <laughs> you are your kids like? Are they proud that their dad is David Beckham? Do they care? I mean, I would. I, would, I always thought they were until I obviously take my eldest. You know, the, the, the younger one obviously loves me taking her to school. The two smaller boys, they love it, apart from my, my middle son, Romeo, who's 12. He's, he's just started. As soon as I take him into school, I'll go to kiss him and he'll turn his cheek. So I'll then pick him up and give him a bear hug and kiss him in front of his friends. Right, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so that happens with him. And then, um, and then my eldest, Brooklyn, who's 16 in March, um, I take him to school and he says to me, Daddy, park around the corner. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like, sorry, Dad, park around the corner, not uh, Daddy. Yeah, right. Um, he's past that. But uh, he tells me to park him around the corner um, and then he gets out and he walks around to his school. So he did it to me the other day after doing it about five times on the trot. So I'm driving around and he's just walking in his school and I open the window, I said, Brooklyn, I love you. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> You know, obviously it didn't go down very well. No, but, no, yeah. no. But why even have kids if you can't embarrass them I every mean, day, you know? I mean, v Victoria did have to remind them the other day that actually you've got quite a cool dad, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Yeah, no, coming from mom, it really has no impact really whatsoever. Didn't, but...